I think like definitely in in the metal world it's it's a strange it's a strange world because I find that the metal and the hard rock hard music um, family is so like open armed and bringing in people you know of all cultures and colors and ethnic bases and whatever style of music like if you've got a Pantera shirt on and, and then you've got like a dude with a Cradle Phil shirt on like they'll still get along everyone gets along really well and that's one thing that like really drew me to the scene when I was a younger kid um, but I see it all too much especially in, in, in Germany and Eastern Europe like the way I dress I dress like a fucking rapper um, I have a rapper tattooed on my leg and there's been many times where people ask me why I have a black man tattooed on my leg yeah it's fucked and I'm like it's Notorious B.I.G and they're like who is Notorious B.I.G and I'm like it's the fucking greatest rapper that ever lived and they're like you listen to fucking rap music and I'm like yeah I love reggae I love rap I love dance hall and then like oh you're a poser so like I've, I've seen it firsthand. even today I made a post with uh, me and my homie the merch guy from Oceano we we're wearing Kanye West shoes, so they're super limited. They're very expensive. And, like, we really enjoy our shoes, so we took a photo of it. And then all this criticism on my Instagram, people saying that I'm a sellout and that I'm a poser. And, you know, it's, it's I'm just being me. You know, I'm not, be, I'm not trying to be the most metal guy in the world. I'm not trying to be a rapper. I'm not trying to... I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just doing and buying and wearing and, and doing the things in my life that, that makes me happy. And I think that's the, the biggest thing. And I, I know, like, I got teased a lot when I was at school for being too big and too hairy and got called Bigfoot and all the kids would spit on me and throw fruit at me on the bus. For years, I cop shit. And it almost, like, it's not as bad as it was when I was a kid, but you still see that shit now and like if they're saying this to a singer in a reputable band imagine how they're treating people they work with or kids they go to school with and it's like that's the thing that i worry about i don't give a fuck i've already been through that like bullying phase of my life and i'm far far ahead of that shit but the younger generation with social media and that these days like you don't even like have to like you know go on to the times where you worry about going to school get picked on you go home you're still getting picked on you know what i mean so you know back when i was at school we didn't have mobile phones we had no internet we didn't have any of that shit and, and you know there'd be days where i didn't want to go to school because we get picked on but there'd be days now kids don't want to fucking turn their phone on they don't want to open up a, t a laptop they don't want to they don't want to do anything like because the bullying comes in from fucking every aspect of their life. They want to go onto their Instagram and see what their friends, you know, or their cousins did on Instagram and then boom, inbox, you know, fuck you, you, you ugly face or you freckled face or you fat guy. Like, it's fucked. Like, people just need to chill the fuck out and metal elitists, you know, and ev every platform of music has some sort of elitism to it, but people just need to stop the bullshit, you know, and if you don't like something, don't say anything.